Hi, I'm Brenda Quintana coming to you from the Beehive at QBeesQuest.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute gift card holder using the Coffee Cafe bundle. This bundle consists of the Coffee Cafe stamp set and the Coffee Cups framelits. And if you buy them together as a bundle, you can save 10%. These little gift card holders are so cute. Inside they have a little pocket and I made it out of the Coffee Break Designer Series paper to add a little fun. And then I created a little envelope using the envelope punch board using that same paper. So many people love coffee, so giving a gift card in this cute packaging will make such a great thank you gift. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. To start off with, you're going to need your Simply Scored scoring board and you're going to need a piece of cardstock. I have Wisteria Wonder here and I've cut this piece to 8 inches by 2 and 3 quarter inches and I'm going to put one of the long sides up at the top and then I'm going to score at the 4 inch mark. You can set this piece aside for the moment. Then you're going to need a piece of cardstock or a piece of designer series paper and I'm using the Coffee Break designer series paper and I've cut this piece to three and a half inches by two and a quarter inches. So then I'm going to take one of the three and a half inch sides and put it up at the top of my scoring board and I'm going to score at the three eighths inch mark and the three and one eighths inch mark. Then you're going to put the bottom of your designer series paper on this left side right here. Now for this pattern it won't matter, but if you're using a pattern that has a definite up and down to it, you're going to want to put the bottom along the left side here. Then we're going to score at the 3 8 inch mark. So now we're going to prep this little pocket piece. So I've created a little template to guide us. So orient your piece as I have right here and you're going to have two small squares at the bottom corner and we are going to cut these off at an angle so we can create three tabs. So I'm going to start off with one of the corners and I'm angle cutting it. So this helps to create tabs and it helps bring the pocket together better. So you can see right here I've taken a little bit more than the square away. And I'm going to do the same thing from the other side, like that. Then you can fold these tabs along the score lines. And then I'm going to put some tear and tape along each of those three tabs. Start off with this bottom tab. <laughs> like that. Then you can set this piece aside for the moment. And so now we're going to do a little stamping. So I have a scrap piece of thick whisper white cardstock here and I have my early espresso ink pad. I'm going to be using the greeting thanks a latte. So just ink that up right here and then stamp it down onto my whisper white piece. Then you're going to need your Big Shot and I'm going to be using my magnetic platform. I've got a cutting plate already placed on here. I'm going to cut my little thanks a latte greeting out and we're going to use the coffee cups framelits to cut out all the pieces that we need. So we're going to cut the biggest cup out with soft suede. We're going to cut the coffee cup wrap out of crumb cake and we're going to cut the lid out of Whisper White. We're going to cut this little piece that stops the coffee from spilling out with a little bit of early espresso. And if this little guy shifts around on you, move the cardstock around until it settles. Don't try and fight with this magnet, you will not win. Last but not least, we're going to cut our greeting out with the oval. So just make sure it's centered. Then we're going to place the second cutting plate on top of these guys and then we're going to run it through the Big Shot. So here is the cup. 
Here is the little wrap piece. Here is the lid. The little stopper piece. And then finally, we have our greeting. Then I'm going to bring in my regular platform and I'm going to remove the thin die adapter from it. I'm going to need a cutting plate down and we're going to do some embossing. We're going to take the piece that we scored earlier and the garden trellis embossing folder. And I want to just emboss a little bit of the bottom. So I'm going to emboss about two of these patterns down at the bottom. So I'll just try and center it and you can see right here that two of these pattern lengths are going to be embossed right down here at the bottom. I don't want to emboss the whole thing. So just make sure it's straight in here. And then you can place your embossing folder down on the cutting plate. Just use your thumb to hold it down so it doesn't shift. And then you'll bring your second cutting plate over top. And then you're going to run this piece through the Big Shot. And then when it comes out, you'll have a nice neutral pattern to put your coffee cup on. So then we need to take this piece and fold it along the score line. And you can use your bone folder to smooth down that fold. Then we can take our little pocket piece that we created earlier. And I'm going to remove just this bottom length of the tear and tape. And I'm going to open up my little gift card holder and I'm going to bend it over so the bottom tab will be aligned right with the bottom of my piece of cardstock. Just make sure that looks straight and it does. And then I can smooth it down. You can see how it's right on the bottom edge like that. And then I can remove the other two pieces of liner. like that and I can fold these little tabs in and then I can just fold them down flat like that. And there's the little perfect pocket for the inside. Then we just need to close up the front and finish off the card. So now we're going to glue all the pieces of the cup together. So to use that I'm going to use Tombow glue and I'm going to start off by gluing the lid to the cup. So I'm going to take my cup and just put a thin line of glue right up at the top. And then I'm going to add my cup to that. But I'm just going to just overlap just a little bit, not all the way. And I just want to make sure it's centered. This is what it looks like on the back. Then I'm going to take my holder piece put some Tombow on it and then add that to the cup like that. Then I need to add this little stopper piece and just put a tiny bit of glue down at the bottom and then I'm just going to add that behind my lid like that. Then we can glue this piece to the card and I'm just going to try and center it not including this little stopper piece I'm going to center it based on the lid and the bottom of the cup and the sides so like that then for this thanks a latte piece I'm going to use two dimensionals and remove the backings on that. And then I'm going to stick this right on the center like that. Then I think it needs just a little bit of ribbon. So I'm going to take some of this Crumb Cake Classic Weave ribbon and I've already cut myself a five inch length of this ribbon. And all I'm going to do is tie this into a little knot And then I'm going to angle cut the ends.
like that. Then I just need a mini glue dot and there's one right here so I'll just place my knot on it, push down and then lift it off and then I can add that to my coffee cup holder like that. Then you'll need a gift card to slide on the inside and I've designed it so it could fit various sizes of gift cards. Now this is really cute just to hand as it is but if you would like to put it in an envelope let me show you how to make that. You'll need your envelope punch board and you're going to need a six by six piece of the designer series paper and I'm using the coffee break designer series paper. You're going to place your piece up at the top of the envelope punch board and you're going to shift it to the two and five eighths inch mark. You're going to use your tool and I'm just going to score down on the diagonal like that. Then I'm going to give this a punch. Then I'm going to rotate it and this line that we just made is going to line up with this little pointer right here. So let me line that up. And then I'm going to score again, punch. We're going to line the, this line up now. Line it up, give it a score and then a punch. Line up again, score and punch. And if you want to round the ends, you just need to turn your envelope punch board towards you and then you're going to slide in each of these corners. Make sure they're lined perfectly in the guide and then give them a punch. Then all you need to do is fold this piece along the score lines. I like to do a kind of a long and skinny envelope. So I'm going to fold in one of the short sides and then I'm going to fold in both of the longer sides like that. So then I'll just need a little bit of Tombow. I'm going to put it on these two flaps like that. Bring in one flap at a time and then for this one I'm just going to put it just along this side and a little bit right here over on the point and then I'm going to bring it in like this. And there you go, there's the envelope for your gift card. So there you go, a really cute gift card holder that would make a great thank you for a coffee lover. And the cool thing about this is because I kept all the coffee cup pieces neutral, you can use whatever color of cardstock you like in the background. So you can really personalize it to suit the person. All the supplies you'll need to make this cute gift card holder are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out all the free with purchase tutorials available on my blog. The Mixed Drinks Note Card Box tutorial is just one of the exclusive tutorials that you can choose free with a minimum purchase in my Stampin' Up! store. Hi, it's Brenda again. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also visit my blog for more information on my projects and to learn about my rewards program, or just watch another one of my videos. Thanks for watching.